Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Mike. Get What's back. up? Yeah, see, we're on the camera. Yep. So, uh, we're gonna do the back brakes. Now, the, I did the back brakes on the other side. Today we're gonna do them on this one. And as you see, we still have the little tire on because it had a flat, but got jacked up. And I got a jack stand underneath it for safety. So, using the uh, trusty rigid we did a review on this trusty yeah. rigid impact and this thing works great like actually i'm surprised i haven't even charged it yet do you know that and i've used that i don't know how many times anyway blow the tire off. no nascar pit crew for dave well, I can do it fast. <laughs> <laughs> now if you didn't have this you just uh use your tire iron or uh, a ratchet with a, a socket on it or a breaker bar with a socket and tires off now look at that well that was easy yeah crustiness and if you can you show right down in there can you see that there's no pad <laughs> there's no pad left cool so yeah they just started making noise i knew i was supposed to do them last fall but guess what Okay, guys, uh, there is, if you, can you show that? That's a little rubber thing. Now, you, sometimes there's a boot on that. You just pry that boot off. But these brakes have, like, been done a hundred times over. So, you take a seven mil, okay? There you go. Can you see that? Getting good on that? Yep. Yeah, looks like it's something. Okay. You put it in. I'll do this one so you can see it. You put it in there. Now, make sure it's fully seated. And it, oh, that's on there pretty good and just loosen that one off then go to the other side same thing get right in there so they can see where it's going can they see where it's going as much as you can well get right in there you can only get so much in there okay, okay. that fits in like that and again and take these back them right out till they're loose Loose or comes right out? It, it'll come right off. Yeah. Okay, now that we got these moved back out of the way, you see how they're they're not attached to anything there. You want to get this piece of the brake pad, pop this around. Okay. That, Ouch! <laughs> well that just broke, so they're kind of crusty. Now this should. Ooh. This is on there, good. Okay, so what you wanna do now is you wanna push this brake pad back a little bit. You see how I got that in there? So just take it and pry between the rotor and the old pad so it creates a space. Okay, you see how it's pushing the piston and the caliper back and getting a little space? And that allows you to take it off. Well, I might have to push a little bit more than that on these ones because they're pretty crusty. should just come off and these are really locked on okay we got some play now and I did push these back a little bit more okay so there you go now you want to take these and try them this downwards okay to get this off now again maybe watch your eyes a little bit because the last one broke Okay, <laughs> a little bit of material on that one, and it's down to nothing on this one. Now, don't let this fall. You shouldn't let it fall. So that's garbage. But hang on to this one, okay, because you're going to need it in a little while. Okay, so let's put this to the side. Now, this drum is not going to come off easy. Okay, so that rotor is really on there, okay? It's so, pretty. Putting a little liquid wrench around the hub because that's likely where it's kind of seized on. And guess what I gotta do now? Don't know. Out comes the hammer. 
It's not gonna damage anything? No, just let that soak for a couple minutes. Okay. Oh, I see a little movement. You see that? See how the rotor kind of... Okay, so you keep... What I do is I tap up here and usually it seals onto the hub. Like it kind of welds itself with the heat and age and all that rust, eh? So I keep tapping up here. I tap in here and that way it actually gets the penetrating oil to work in down the studs and gets onto that. And then as soon as I see it move, just grab, be careful of your fingers because it can hurt if it catches it and just wiggle it off. And maybe not. Looked like it was moving. Yeah, it'll move. This is the ghetto van style difficult. Yeah. <laughs> now. There. there we go. See how it's. I don't use my parking brakes now. This has a little bit of material. I should really do, do that, but I don't use my parking brake. Do what? You really should do what? This here is brake. Oh, you can replace that as well? Yep, yep. You can replace these. But we're not. No, because there's no reason to. What are you doing now, Dave? Just clean things up a little. What are you using? Just brake clean. There's an actual brake cleaner? Yep. Okay. Wow. Give it a good spray down. Get all the crap and everything else off it. Now, I really should do these brake shoes, but I'll do them another day. I just want to show you how to do the rotors. Yeah, all the crap's off. No, just let it dry for a little while. We'll see you in a second. Now, you want to clean up, see all the rust and that garbage on that? You want to take the and you might want to consider wearing wire wheels, I have wearing wire wheels, wearing glasses because, you know, chunks of rust and that sort of stuff. But clean up this whole area. So now, pull out these slider pins. Okay. Try not to mar them up, that's why I don't really lock into the mark. There, that's what a pin looks like, okay? Yep. Now, we do this to both, I'll just show you one since I got right out now. Let's see. Get rid of that. I take them and I just clean them up. Okay, so just be careful with your hands. Now you can use a piece of sandpaper or whatever, but you just want to get all, all the crap off them. Pretty. Yeah. So now. Is that the second one? Yeah. Okay. So, where to put that? There it is. What I do now is you take the old brake pad, you stick it in there like that, put it back in the piston, and you open this up. And what you're trying to do is compress the piston back. And somewhere. Okay. Now, you don't have to do this fast. Okay, like push back in there. Try not 
try and get it square up on that. There. Can you see how the piston is gradually going back in? And if you want, I'll do something else. If you take the cap off your brake fluid, and that releases pressure also. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Take your brake reservoir cap off. Just don't forget to put it back on. Okay, so you just turn it back in slow. Put a wrench on this because it makes it easier. Right. A little more lever traction. In, and it'll gradually work the piston in. See how the piston's going in? Yep. You, it looks like it. Well, you've got to get in here to show I it. don't know where the piston is. <laughs> you see, as I turn, is that going in? Yep. Let it go in a little bit and then turn it some more. Like I say, sometimes. And this happens, you, you turn it in and, okay, we're gonna give it a little break, but you turn it in and it gets stuck in there. And then you gotta replace the caliper. So you don't wanna do that? No. Okay guys, the uh, piston right here, is moved all the way back in so I can take this off. I guess I should have, uh, I don't know, I should move this one. So the piston will stay in? Yeah, yeah. Pop the old uh, one out. See how it's kind of flush. Mm -hmm. Need that flush to make room for the uh, pad or pads to go around the uh, rotor. Or the oh, geez, look at that. See now the back of this is falling off. You don't want to have anything that's going to interfere. So what I do is I give it another quick spray down. Get all the crap off there. Okay. Now, as that dries up, I get this stuff, copper anti-seize, okay? Now, we have the pad, so there's your inboard pad, okay? Now it goes in the piston that we just compressed, and it'll snap in like so, okay? do that take out the new rotor pretty okay so before i put the rotor on you see how we had a hard time pounding that in there yep. before just take a little bit of the copper slip and i just put it on here just in the background you don't have to put it on thick just enough that it stops any corrosion and you can take the stupid thing off later on down the road it just you know it helps because sooner or later, if you keep it long enough, you're going to do your brakes again and again, right? And this is an 05, so it's like that brakes done quite a few times. So everything's good there. Throw this on. Spins nice and smooth. Ooh, it like spins that? way better than before. Yeah. You like that, though? Huh? Pretty snifty, eh? Now, you take that. So you don't put the other brake piece in yet, do you? Yeah. Oh, you do it now. Yep. And you snap this up and in. Now, sometimes this can be a pain to get on. And the first time, you might need your screwdriver. I can't find. Wait a minute. See those little lumps? Okay. Yep. They have to sit in those holes. Oh, okay. So sometimes you have to give it a little tap. Or whatever just to bump them on in there that's one and that is two and they'll seat themselves there. and then okay so that's done take your compass slip give it a little coat you don't have to go crazy but give this just a little coat because that's where your brake pads or yeah your brake pads are sliding across right and you'll see that in a second so you want to give that a little coat Like I say, you don't have to go crazy with it. Turn that up. There. Now, you see how these sit on here? See that? Do you see how it sits on the yeah. 
stuff. Okay. So then it comes to these things. These things. Those little buggers back again. Yep. Huh? Now, the trick is with these, so they don't seize up and your piston moves nice and free, you coat them up. And you can be generous on these. Okay, so coat these. That way they slide through really good. You see how hard it was getting those out? Mm -hmm. well, that's because they weren't lubed up. You didn't coat them last time, huh? No, well, I didn't do the brakes last time on this. And then you just... What? Nope. I haven't done the brakes in this, actually. So, and then same thing with the other one. Give it a good coat. And a lot of people don't do this, and this is what causes premature brake wear. You don't want to be premature with anything. And slide that in. So, there, get those right up against the metal. And then what you're doing, okay, you put it in, you line it up, and you just tighten, and it'll. How tight? Well, there is specs for these, and there is specs on each car. And if, if you're worried about the spec, what I say is contact the manufacturer, like a dealership, and ask them. I just do it so it's tight. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get it lined up and started. Like this time. But it will start. You just have to take your time. And you'll find it. <sighs> okay, so give this a good tighten up. Like I said, I know how tight things should be. But if you want, buy a torque wrench, follow the manufacturer recommendation like I say I know I've been doing brakes for a long time now one last thing a lot of people might forget this is that clip right there just pry that out could be a little tricky just pry that out and get down come on Nope. Oh, you're trying to put it down and under? Yeah. It will go. Yeah, that's not what you're trying to do. You so just can... have to unangle it a little. There. There. And there you go. Brakes are done. Now, last thing before anybody forgets. Now, you know when you put your tire on, you torque your wheel and everything else. But remember... Put the cap back on! Put the cap back on your brake fluid reservoir. Because if you don't, you get contaminants, moisture, and everything else. So the cap's back on. Yeah. And now we put the wheel on. Now the wheel goes on. I don't need to show people. If you could take the wheel off, you can put the wheel back on. So that's on. all you do to put a brake fix yeah. thing. And like I said, that wasn't bad. No, it's not. And I was going slow because I'm trying to show people. Like yeah. I said, you might want to wear gloves. Remember, brake parts. Some brake parts have asbestos in them, in them so you might want to yeah. not yeah. get dust in your face and crap on your hands. Anyway guys, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the uh, bell so you get notified if there's a new video. Take care, be safe on the road.